my scrappy friends. This is Michelle the Stamp Booker and I am coming to you today with another hop. And this one is coordinated by Shannon Bullen and we are doing different shapes for the month of January. And so this month, I mean this week, we are doing circles. So I decided I would scrapbook this photo. I actually, instead of printing a photo, I went into my 2023 album. Now I haven't really added but maybe one layout to it, but I was trying to get organized with my photos. So um, I put one of those repositional labels that says January and then we get into February. And then to May. So I need to go back and print more photos. But um, we get to May right here was this photo. And it's a photo of my mom's geraniums and it was the first year that we put it on this tree stump and it's a new tree stump so um see and here's the one layout i think i have in here i need to go through and put my 2023 layouts up but so i was proud of myself for not pulling out my printer and creating printing another photo when I have so many, right? And this, this photo makes me happy. It's a hot pink. And so it made me think of my Paige Evans blended collection. And y'all, I, I like have all the things. I had the paper pad or the project pad and then I have extra papers and I did add in three wonders. So I felt like they're all kind of the same colors. And then I wanted to show you, I have bought these extra, I think at Joann's. I love this color. It's like a Harbor color. It's what close my heart calls. But look at this. So the project pad has the um, foil. Look at the difference in the color. It's like not even the same. Which is okay, I guess. And really even this page to this page. Can you tell? I think this one is darker. A little bit. Anyway, I digress. So we're making circles and I thought about using this wreath. Um, but I think I want to cut a circle. That's how I first envisioned it. This back over here. So it was a four by six and I cut it down to four by five. I thought about four by four. Um, might still do it. I just want to be able to show that this is a tree stump and definitely don't need all that stump. I'm not sure. I might could do another half inch. Anyway, that's to be determined. And then since it's a hot pink, I was thinking this would make a good background. And then I was going to make the circle out of this paper. And then I thought about double matting this photo with this green and this pink. I'm not sure which one closer to the photo. And I'm not sure if I will do white first. I like to use these photo placeholders from Close My Heart. I seem to have accumulated a lot. And they come in the workshop kits. And uh, all you have to do is just cut a quarter inch off 
of uh, two sides of your photo and then you can mat it so let's see like that and then like that or what's it look like pink and then green I don't know. That might be better to separate this busy pattern paper with from this paint. But we'll figure that out too. So anyway, I'm going to put you on fast forward and you can watch me put this together.
I am back. I went ahead and finished the layout. Um, everything is glued down. I used the stickers from this project pad for the title. And I used... Actually, I pulled this, these stickers off and I didn't use them. So I need to put them back. Uh, so we're, you know, we're supposed to be using circles. So I tried to use the circle theme. I, feel, I felt like these lace doily banner was like a circle theme. And then this was circle. The um, flowers, some of the flowers are circular like this one. Um... And I guess that's it. But anyway, it, the layout went really quickly because I didn't have to make anything. I just used only ephemera. Um, I do want to say that I wasn't crazy about my leaf selection. And so I remembered that my friend Jeannie Linguini had sent me some foliage she had cut out with her die cutter. And so I use these leaves, and these leaves are all from her, and I think they just match perfectly. Um, and then I can't remember, I can't remember on the video if I showed you how I did this. I found the center, cut the circle, and, um, and then I ended up, what did I do? And then I ended up gutting it from this paper, from, from the back. So I still have this. So I think I could do something with. It can like, you know, make another layout where this is a frame. So, and then um, one thing I've been trying to do, it looks like I need a little more glue under that, is kind of trying out what I want to write. And so I just practiced on a scratch piece of paper. It doesn't really explain that this was a new thing this year but I didn't want to say new wash bucket because it's not new and then I wanted to put new stuff but then I went with new Arizona tree new tree stump I don't know new Arizona ash tree stump I just got stumped <laughs> I got stumped on that but we know what happened it's a tree that recently died mom recently had it cut down and she had this plan all along of, of it being level and so many feet off the ground so that she could put this um, wash bucket on there and fill it with flowers. And she chose pink geraniums and they just were so pretty. She had some pink geraniums closer to her house too, but these got more sun and they were very happy in that wash bucket. So, um... So yeah, we'll have to when it when it becomes spring again, we'll put some more flowers out there and make the front of your yard pretty. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Please uh, take the time to check out everybody else that's playing along with this hop. Um, like I said, this was uh, coordinated by Shannon Blinn. So um, be sure to check her channel out because she this was her brainchild. And then everybody else playing along. All right, have a great day.